integrate 1 plus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. Solution. So usually in these problems where you have uh, e's in the numerator and or the denominator, um, you can try to make some type of substitution or oftentimes there's a, a clever trick. Uh, let's do this using a clever trick. So we have 1 plus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x dx. So we can write this as the indefinite integral. Now it would be really nice if it was 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x because that cancels. So what we do is we write that down. So we write down what we want. So we have 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. But we can't just put an e to the x there. We have to take it away, so we have to add e to the x. So these cancel, basically. Here we have a net gain of 0. But then we still have this other e to the x that's hanging out, so we have to add the other e to the x. So we're basically inserting a negative e to the x and an e to the x in a clever way. Then we still have the dx. So now I'm going to use parentheses here to group these. So this is equal to 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. And then, oh, I guess I'll show an extra step, parentheses, plus 2 e to the x dx. Let's pause here for a moment and go over that step again because this is a very key technique. So we have 1 plus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. The goal is to have 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. So we write that down. But you can't just put a minus e to the x there. You have to take it away. So we have these here and this here. right? These cancel, but you get 0. And this e to the x is the same as this one. Then we're breaking it up. e to the x plus e to the x is 2 e to the x. Now it's going to be this over this. So it'll be 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x dx plus, and then it'll be 2 e to the x over 1 minus e to the x dx, right, breaking it up into two integrals. The first integral is going to turn into the integral of 1 dx, very easy because these cancel. And this integral here, we can make a substitution. Right? We'll let u be the piece on the bottom. So u will be 1 minus e to the x. Then we'll take the derivative of both sides, so du. Well, the derivative of the right-hand side is just negative e to the x dx. Now, we have a 2 e to the x dx here. So here we have negative e to the x dx. So if we multiply both sides by negative 2, it becomes 2 e to the x dx. So maybe that was a little bit confusing. So if I put a negative 2 here and a negative 2 here, Negative and negative is positive, and we get this red piece here. So this becomes, um, so the 2 e to the x dx becomes minus 2 du. So I'll pull out the minus 2 du. And what's left is the bottom piece, so u. Integrating this first integral, we get x minus 2. The second one becomes a natural log, so ln absolute value of u, but u was 1 minus e to the x. And then we still have our constant of integration, capital C. And that, my friends, is the final answer. Uh, this problem is from uh, one of the MIT Integration B qualifying uh, exams. Kind of a fun problem to do to keep your integration skills, uh, you know, in, in good shape. That's it.